children, it's the feast day of the guardian angels today. Many grown-ups think that angels are some kind of fairy tale creatures which do not concern real world or real life, but are just something made up for children. But this is completely false. As Catholics, we must believe everything what the Church teaches us to believe and to hold. And the Church has told us, as does the Bible, that there are angels, heavenly spirits, who, uh, will, uh, who help uh, us to do the will of God. God has told us many rules to uh, follow, but he hasn't abandoned us uh, to the power of chance. No, he has appointed every single soul to have his own guardian angel. Since God is a spirit and lives in heaven, he uh, uses angels to protect us, to guide us, and most of all, how our guardian angel protects us is that he prays for us. The angels are special ministers of God, and just like they do the will of God, they also, our guardian angels, expect us to do the will of God as well. Saint Francis of Rome, who was the foundress of the church's very first oblate order, she had a special gift to see her guardian angel face to face. And Saint Francis turned and, uh, to him in all her trials and troubles. If she was ever tempted, the, the angel, the guardian angel of Saint Francis looked on her so lovingly that she turned at once from all temptations. And if St. Francis ever committed a fault, however small, sadness covered the face of her guardian angel. But as soon as she was sorry of her little fault, then the angel's face was again full of joy and happiness. In this way, the guardian angel of Saint Francis of Rome was a constant source of strength and comfort and counsel to her. With the eyes of faith, we also can see our guardian angels. If we hear the church and we obey our parents and our teachers and, and our priests, then our guardian angels are also pleased in us, and they pray for us even, uh, uh, even uh, more. So we, as Catholics, not only believe in guardian angels like we must, we also should do acts which are pleasing to our guardian angels. He our guardian angel is happy if we do according to the will of our heavenly Father. And if we ever should disobey or even do some sin, he is sad with us. But like the angel of St. Francis, as soon as we are sorry and we say our act of contrition, then he is again happy with us, and not only is our guardian angel happy, but he, with his powerful prayers, also helps us to do much better in the future. May God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs>